Definitely. And, and I can't believe we're talking about back to school. <laughs> I know. Sure. I mean, really, I bus know. stop forecast on the way, y'all. I, I mean, it, 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 it it's is. crazy to think about. Yeah, you got many coming back on Monday. Whoa, there was one school that started yesterday, so it's mm. fast approaching. It's hard to wrap your mind around, but, you know, all over the country, schools start at different times. Mm -hmm. And so some places, you know, they basically just got out and won't start for another month. So right. here, at least they'll be in the AC for most of their day. Definitely so, because you'll need it today and for the next couple of days. We are talking about extreme heat continuing, but we also have several rain chances that will be back for us, which is a definite blessing, especially areas off to our far west. Speaking of the westward locations, we are dealing with heat advisories in play for the same locations that had it yesterday. There's a good chance you're probably going to have those heat advisories again, but that doesn't mean that we are all or the rest of us will be sitting cool. Yeah, we're cooler than we were this time yesterday by around five to seven degrees. Current temperature in the city. We're coming in at 75 and we've got a beautiful sunrise. Sky five live will be here with us shortly over in Gallatin. You can tell we got a few clouds out there, but some clearing that's currently taking place. Current temperature for y'all 74. Now, unlike yesterday where we had some showers already trying to creep their way in. That's not the case this morning. Our rain is still well to our north right around I 64 closer to the Louisville area. Showers and storms that will eventually move into our area, but the first half of our day really looks to be on the drier side of things, but it's still milky. Feels like you're walking through soup as dew points are in those 70s. And of course, our temperatures, despite slightly cooler, they're still warm with widespread 70s all across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Winds right now pretty light out of our south, but as we do go throughout the day, we're going to gain a little momentum, so you'll notice slightly better breeze as we head into the afternoon noon and we'll need it. It'll be appreciated as temperatures starting at one will feel like 100 degrees in Leland. That's where we hover until around six o'clock this evening. And as Ben pointed out earlier, it was going on into the evening hours last night, 88, but it still felt like those 90. Yeah, and that's what that just the high humidity levels out there and uh, the muggies will continue over the next couple of days for us out there with that air you can wear uh, right now from Cookville. You are 75 degrees over the, the quad at Tennessee Tech. Nothing in the rain bucket there since the midnight hour. Need to get out and walk the dog. Bonnie ready to go, courtesy of a Porter and Liam. So this morning we'll go green paw. There's some patchy fog out there, so be careful there. But then we'll go yellow in the uh, midday hours into the afternoon with the heat of the pavement there and the chance of showers. Now, I think at noon time, it's about a two in 10 chance, but that ramps up a little bit more as we go later into the afternoon. Still, though, enough sunlight. The clouds were tough yesterday, but sunlight got through and that got us into the 90s. Today, a lot of cloud cover, but still breaks in those clouds for sunshine to get us back into the 90s. That muggy meter, it's going to be on the muggy side for today and over the next couple of days. So exact track, a stray shower possible this morning, but more of that as you get just north of the area. And then as we head toward midday, scattered showers and thunderstorms like yesterday, it will not rain everywhere, but where it does rain, some of that rain may be locally heavy. You'll have it out there for the early part of tonight that dies down. And then tomorrow we'll do it all again. Scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. These storms may have a punch where they may have some damaging wind gusts, maybe some locally heavy downpours that could lead to some localized flooding out there. So when you look at rainfall estimates here as we make our way through the day, there you can see another half an inch to an inch. We can end up with two to three inches, three to four in some spots by the end of the week. So Nikki D, we're talking 90s over the next couple of days and then trending down a bit. Just a tad. We are going to have that cold front move in on Friday. We'll have some slightly higher rain chances Friday as well as Saturday. Not a complete washout, but if you do have something outdoors, this is the time to kind of start thinking about that backup plan. Not saying you have to put it in motion yet, but have a little bit of an idea of what to do with temperatures. The next work week mm -hmm. headed back into the low 90s.